G'day guys, how's it going? It is Jared HD here. Welcome to episode number 11 of my Fulham FIFA 16 career mode series. And as you can probably tell, this series is going to going to continue. I did ask you guys last episode to let me know if you wanted the series to continue and it is quite obvious that a lot of people want me to. Went from getting about 40 likes an episode to about 80 last time I checked. So if we can hit 70 likes again, that would be absolutely fantastic and that would just make my day. But the first matchup here is away from home. We are taking on Leeds United in the championship. Chris Wood, the Kiwi striker, almost giving Leeds an early lead. But they are on the attack once again. Berardi on the ball, looking for some support. Finds Antonucci. Antonucci to Wood. Wood unfortunately gets it past Bettinelli and Wood does give Leeds a 1-0 advantage 18 minutes into this game. Not exactly what we wanted, quite disappointing, but as we push on here, 19 minutes into it, Wood is on the ball. He is looking for some support, plays it back to Bianchi. Bianchi to Wood, Wood, he's dominating the game, Antonucci hits it and what can we do? There is nothing we could do to stop that. For the past few games, I have been testing out World Class, and I've come to the conclusion that I freaking hate it. The, the CPU, it's just not fun. Like, Professional feels like World Class did last year, and it's just not fun. When they just score goals like that, friggin' hell, I can't believe some of the goals that we have been conceding, especially the long shots are crazy on World Class. Definitely so much different than last year. But Antonucci on the ball here. It goes to Adeyemi. Adeyemi back to Antonucci. Antonucci running through our defense. Of course, they freaking smash that one in off the crossbar. Scott Dan gives him a little bit of space. And Antonucci bangs that one off the crossbar. Not what we wanted at all. But Ihanacho providing our first highlight here as he passes it to Ross McCormack. McCormack getting past Solly Barber. He's cutting around. He's going to hit it, but he hits it straight at Marco Silvestri. Not what we wanted at all. And unfortunately, we suffer a really shitty 4-0 loss at the hands of Leeds United. So, I have decided to move it back down to professional just because it is so much more fun on professional a lot more realistic as well. But as we do training here, we're doing Ian Archo, Kachaniklic, Heinemann, Richards, and Lonigan. And Heinemann does move up to a 66 rating, which is definitely what we want to see. But the second matchup of today's episode is away from home. It is still in the championship, but we are taking on Bristol City. Recently promoted, I do believe. They got Coutinho up front. Nope, not Felipe Coutinho. Some other random Coutinho. But this is our lineup. That we are rocking. A bit of a rotational side. Dembele comes into the side. Same thing with Kavanaugh, Fredericks, uh, Bedinelli, Dan Byrne. Just all these players. But we do kick things off here in the 24th minute. Dembele getting past Flint. He's going to square that one to Ross McCormack. Ross McCormack puts it past the keeper. And the Scotsman does give us a 1-0 advantage 25 minutes into this game. 15 minutes later, Christensen passing that one to Jamie O'Hara. O'Hara to Dembele, Dembele to Ross McCormack. Ross McCormack getting, trying to get past Flint again. He passes it to Dembele. Dembele, he's going to turn. He hits it and somehow he gets it past the keeper to give us a 2-0 advantage 42 minutes into this game. Little on the ball here for Bristol City. Running up, getting past our defense. He crosses that one back post to Coutinho. Uh, Douglas Coutinho, he does head of that past the goalkeeper. And as we move into the second half, four minutes into it, Pringle is going to whip that one into Scott Dan. Goal line clearance from Brian. Would have been nice for Scott Dan to score a very rare goal. But Kavanaugh on the ball, passing it to O'Hara. O'Hara playing that one through to Musa Dembele. Musa Dembele hits it off the freaking post. It does get cleared away. It goes out to Christensen. He gets tackled. He gets it again. He hits it, and he just misses the right-hand side of the post. Would have been nice to score a goal there. It does go out for a corner. As you can see, Ross McCormack going to switch it to Ben Pringle. Pringle whips that one into Patrick Roberts. Roberts! Denied there from Harmer would be nice, but off another corner. This time, Scott Dan goes for it. It goes out to Fredericks. Fredericks to Pringle. Pringle to Scott Dan. Scott Dan cuts around. He hits it, and a rare goal there from the former Crystal Palace defender of the year. Scott Dan scoring what I believe is his first goal as a Fulham man, and he secures all three points here. We do go on, and we defeat Bristol, th Bristol City. 
3-0 in the championship. Fantastic stuff to get us back into our winning ways. And the final matchup of today's episode, it is a bit of a London derby. We are taking on Brentford at Craven Cottage. Would be nice if we can get a leg up against them. They are quite a decent side. But this is the lineup that we are rocking with. Basically, a, a more of a full-strength squad. Woodrow does come in for a rare game. Hyman, I want to start playing him more now that he has decided to stay at Fulham. But Brentford, don't recognise too many of their players, just like I don't know many of the players in the championship. I do recognise Bidwell, though. I do think he used to play, or he's on loan from Everton. But... Nine minutes into this game, Vibe to Fierro, Fierro on the ball, passing it to Vibe. Good save there from Andy Lonigan to keep it at a nil all scoreline. And then only two minutes later, Ihenacho running up here, trying to get past Dean, gets past him, takes the strike. Good save there from Button, the Brentford keeper, and it just gets cleared away after Cook cannot do much with it. But Deal Guraga, <laughs> never heard of that bloke, he is on the ball, one on one, hits it straight at Andy Lonigan, he gets away again, Deal Gugara in, try to get it cleared, and finally Lonigan is able to pick that one up and clears it away. 24 minutes into it, however, Fierro, he is on the ball here for Brentford. He is running, trying to get past Richards. He does get past the Swansea City former player. He whips it into Vibe. Unfortunately, Vibe does give Brentford the 1-0 lead, which is not what we wanted, but it's, it's well-deserved there for Brentford. They have been all over us, but as we move into the second half, Vibe absolutely killing us. Bitch, don't kill my Vibe to Fierro. Fierro running up to the touchline. He squares that one and McKeckerin, I believe he's on load from Chelsea already could have gone there full time. He does double Brentford's advantage, giving them a 2-0 lead and we have a bit of a challenge on our hands if we want to get a point out of this game. Catching Nikolic running, he's going to look for it. He gets past, goes to Ian Nacho. Ian Nacho finds the back of the net and the Nigerian does make it a 2-1 scoreline, trying to pick the ball up. Can we get another goal to tie this game up? We will have to wait and see as Brentford at the headland, it goes in here to McLeod. McLeod hits it. Denied there from Andy Lonigan. Potentially a game-saving save. But as we move in to stoppage time, Dugaraga, <laughs> freaking tongue twister name, whips that one back post the vibe. And bitch don't kill my vibe, almost kills our vibe there. It goes and judge. <sighs> Not what we wanted. Brentford are going to win this game, making it a 3-1 advantage. And a 3-1 victory there to Brentford. They do win this sort of London derby. Not, not the perfect way to wrap up today's episode. But anyways, fellas, we are going to do training once again. Basically the same players as the last time. Let's see if we can upgrade a few of them. So, Richards looks like he might go up. Yes, he does. Richards up to a 72, which is definitely what we want to see. And that is how we are going to wrap up today's episode, fellas. We are on the 1st of January. The January transfer window is upon us, so let me know who you would like me to sign down below. If you enjoyed today's episode of the Fulham Career Mode series, make sure that you do leave a like. That would really help me out. Subscribe down below if you're underground here. We are closing in on 19,000 subs. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. The links, as per usual, will be in the description down below. But most importantly, fellas, I hope you have a fantastic day. It has been Jared HD here. I'm out. Peace.